is investigating. Now to an artist who's worked with just about everything she can get her hands on with weird and wonderful results. Linda Benglis, who's been described as one of America's greatest living artists, is here for a major new exhibition at the Hepworth in Wakefield. It opens tomorrow night and who else but Kathy <laughs> Killick has been along to meet her. works from five decades, all by the same American artist, Linda Bengis. What strikes you straight away is the amazing variety of the work on show. It is incredible that it's sprung from the hands and mind of just one woman. Whether it's paper, bronze, latex, you name it, there's going to be something here that speaks to you. Benglis first attracted attention in the 1960s when she threw out the gallery rule book and put poured paintings on the floor. That set the tone for using new materials in different ways. I have always taken the position that I know nothing and I'm beginning always to find out. I also recall when I things with the earth, mud pies and hills of mud and pieces of moss with sticks in them and leaves. And, and I think this is very important to go back to that frame of mind. There's such an incredible range of materials and objects here, it's really extraordinary. So Linda Benglis works in paper, in bronze, in foam, in video, in film, with glitter. It's kind of this extraordinary mix. That's what it's all about. It's play and ideas and uh, developing an understanding of our world and nature. The final touches to the exhibition are just about done, ready for the opening tomorrow night the Hepworth can expect the art crowd in droves. Cathy Killick, BBC Look North, Wakefield. I might pop down there this yeah. weekend. Different, definitely, yeah. Mm. Now, without fail, every Saturday, 85-year-old Mary Thornton can be found cheering on her team, Bradford City. Unlike... Others yes. I could mention, <laughs> and of course when they cause one of the biggest cup set, uh, upsets ever